Okay, today I have a long Wii, don't I wish, DC power supply PS3010 DF. So it's a 30 volt, supposedly a 10 amp power supply. And this one was brought to me by a friend of mine as a set of three. Uh, the other two I fixed and sent back already, but I saved this one for the video. So how you set these things for constant current is you short the output and you turn up the current knob till you get what you want. Well, this thing has no voltage. Current goes up. But you still got no voltage. And how you adjust these things for their for your constant current is by shorting the outputs and it's acting exactly like that. So, we're gonna test this thing. So it acts like it's shorted. All right. So the output is shorted. Let's go look and see if we can't find out what's going on. Alright, the output holes are here and right there. And directly across them is this diode. Alright, I think that diode is suspect and it's the easiest thing to take out and check. One of the main reasons that diode is suspect is that in power supply one and two, that thing was vaporized. The guy I got these things from likes to play with e-bikes and he makes his own batteries. He tried to series a couple of these up to produce a higher voltage to charge his batteries. It didn't work out so well. But I want you guys to subscribe. I'm gonna put some more effort into this channel. I never realized it was doing as well as it was. I got a bunch of more projects on the list. I've got an iPad that needs a new screen. I've got this DeWalt Impact gun. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it yet. I've got this little generator that looks like it was pulled out of a junkyard that somebody brought to me. I've got a pile of golf cart chargers to look at. And a little 50cc Chinese scooter that I might get to one day. Let's get that out of there. Get a little bit of fresh solder on there. I'm using the snips as a lever here to pry out the diode. That's one side out. A little bit more. Alright. Now let's check this diode. Okay. So I think that diode is the culprit. Let's check to see if the output is still shorted. Alright. Just out of curiosity. And I already think I know what's going to happen. Let's go look and see what happens when we turn it on. Okay, we got it plugged in. Let's turn everything off. Constant current light is still on. We got voltage. Multimeter confirms it on the readout, and they both agree. 
So, I'll get on Amazon and order some blocking slash bypass diodes. And uh, after I get on there and choose what I want and get them, I'll, I'll finish this video and show you putting it in. Okay, so I got my diodes. Got them off of Amazon. Alright, I'm going to hold this about where it looks like it goes. Bend that there. Ooh, how about that? It looks like that needs to be bent. About. Uh, oh, that's not exactly perfect, is it? All right, let's make an adjustment. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see if I cleared the solder out enough to get it in the holes. Oh, I can't put this in without blocking you guys' vision. See that? I almost put it in backwards. Alright, this is kind of tricky. Fresh juicy lead based solder on there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Man, this is tricky. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in. Turned off. Make sure everything's turned down. All right, the grounds aren't connected because I haven't screwed everything back together yet. See what it does for current. We'll short circuit it. All right. Okay, so that says we're we're supplying current. What's this thing supposed to do? 10 amps, maybe. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna put it all back together properly. And then I'll have a power or something. Alright, I hope this is not too confusing. But I have this Ryden 6006 power supply. And what I'm going to do is. And I'm going to use the power supply that we repaired. To see if it will run this. And I've modified it to run off of DC. As well as AC. It's my dual fuel power supply. So, I'm going to plug it in here. I want to turn the voltage up pretty high. I guess I'm going to run it all the way up because I'm going to need it. 
and I'm going to let it give me as much current as I want. Alright, and now I'm going to flip this button and it'll feed this. Okay. Okay. Two. Eight. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we're going to charge this battery. I'm going to turn on the output. Plug in the balance lead first. And I want to up the current. Okay, it says uh, I'm running at 50 watts. Everything is kosher. And what is this thing saying? 58 watts, 2 amps. Let's give this a little more current. This battery is 7S3P. Alright. 85 watts, 3 amps. That's the most current I can draw out of it with what I have here. I'm going to call that fixed. Thanks for watching the video.